Welcome back everyone, Savu here and in this video we're going to learn how to randomly spawn a game object at a random position. Let's jump into it. We are going to start by creating our prefabs. First thing to do is to drag our sprites into the scene and afterwards from the hierarchy back to our folder. Now to be more organized we create a new folder, name it prefabs and drag all of our prefabs in it. Let's also create a new c -sharp script and name it spawn script. After that we create a new empty game object into our scene and name it spawn point. This one will be the holder of our spawn script. In the script we will need a public game object array that we will name spawn objects. Since this array is public it will appear into our inspector and we can set the size in there. We have 4 prefabs, so the size will be 4 and we can drag all of them into the array. Let's also delete all of the other game objects and also set the position of our spawn point to 0. What we want to do is to randomly instantiate a game object as soon as the scene loads. So we jump into the start function and write a simple line of code. We are going to use the instantiate method and as an input we just want to select a random game object from the spawn objects array. In order to achieve this we are going to write random.range and set the range from 0 up to the spawn objects dot length. We can also set the parent of the instantiated game object and for that we just need another input variable that will be this.transform. Another great idea is to change the x and y values of each prefabs before even instantiate them inside of the prefab settings. As you can see the result will be a random game object exactly like the same position of our spawn point. To make it easier for the eye and to understand I'm going to have 4 different spawn points and click start in order to see which one we are going to instantiate. Now so this round was a lucky one since we instantiated every one of the four different game objects. Let's see what we have if we try again. Well this time you can see that we had multiple times the same game object. And this is normal since every spawn point has its own random spawn value. The next step is to have multiple spawn locations where we are going to randomly spawn a random game object. For that we also need to get rid of that other spawn points and just keep one of them. Back to our code we are going to need a public game object array or even better a transform array which we are going to name spawn locations. The only thing we want to change is the parent and for that we are going to choose a random transform from our spawn locations array. Back in Unity we set the size of the spawn locations and also drag all of them into the inspector. Now with this setup a random game object will be randomly placed in one of the locations. Let's click start and test it out. You can see that it works really great, we have achieved what we wanted to do. Let's say we want to instantiate a random object to every one of the locations. For that we get back to our code. And instead of instantiating only once, we will need a for loop for every location. Then for every parent we are going to get the i position of the spawn locations. As expected it worked and we have a random game object at every location. Now let's take it another step further. Let's say we want to create a platformer, where on every platform a random game object will be spawned. Every platform is going to need its own spawn location and for that I'm going to create an empty game object as a child of each platform. We can also get rid of that old spawn positions. Next every platform will hold the spawn script with 4 game objects and only one location. For every platform the location will be its own child since we want the game object to be instantiated exactly above it. We are finally done and we can see that each platform has a random game object instantiated exactly at its spawn location. I have used the exactly same method and process for creating my own Sparta Pixel Endless Runner and the results are right now on your screen. You can download and play Sparta on Android and PC. And with that said, 
If you enjoyed the video, show me your love by hitting the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Ciao!